Hi there, my name is Edison Yao and I'm currently a senior in high school. I'm preparing for college and once I get there, I plan on majoring in paleontology, one of my favorite interests to learn. Now, I always get asked this question, why am I interested in the paleontology? And why does it seem so interesting to me? Well, today I want to spend a few minutes to answer these burning questions by taking you on a trip to one of my favorite sites, the La Brea Tar Pits. Let's take a look. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the La Brea Tar Pits. Let's take a look inside. Welcome to the main entrance of the La Brea Tar Pits. Here we can find the fossil lab and stores for visitors to see. Oh, and also La Brea means tar in Spanish, which we are about to see a lot of it. So we all know what tar is. It's something we could all use in our everyday lives. Certain examples are parking lots, roads, roofs, they could all be made of tar. And this is why when it gets really hot there begins a reaction and these surfaces start to melt. So as you can see right here is one of the tar pits. And inside I can guarantee there are a lot of bones and fossils of many prehistoric creatures that wandered around here. They most likely unwittingly went to search for food and water and accidentally walked in, then got stuck. Imagine how easy it is to get stuck inside there and then walking out, which is nearly impossible because it's so sticky. So take a look at this small tar pit. You could easily see that it could fall victim to multiple smaller animals like insects. However, the second tar pit I'm about to show you is massive. It is huge where multiple mammals can be trapped inside. So as you can see from this tar pit, it displays two mammals, one of them being inside the tar pit. This most likely represents that mammals were one huge species that managed to get trapped inside these tar pits. And right over here, we have most likely where all of the fossils are dug up and kept from all the tar pits. As you can see, you will most likely find some mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, certain rodents, and maybe some smaller insects. All of them are being kept and stored right here. It's really interesting and you get to experience what it was like back in the Ice Age. This is really cool. Uh, it's a really hot place for you to get started on your visit. And here you get to experience like a really rich legacy going back millions of years and providing key information for research. As a matter of fact, over here more than 3.5 million fossils have been discovered here at the La Brea Tar Pits, which is really incredible. So ladies and gentlemen, right next to the La Brea Tar Pits is the Los Angeles County Museum of Natural History. This is another interesting stop on your visit that you must discover and see what it was like from the past, present, and the future from a paleontology perspective. Here you can see the skeletons of actual dinosaurs and all sorts of other living things that inhibited North America and this area long before humans have. So to answer your burning question, what is the study of paleontology and why do I find it so interesting? Well, paleontology, of course, is learning all about the ancient species and prehistoric creatures that thrived on our planet millions of years ago. And why I find it so interesting is because I get to visualize how dinosaurs, mammoths, old mammals, and uh, ancient human civilizations used to thrive on this planet. And as I learn paleontology, I get to visualize and experience how our planet was built up and what it's going to be like in the future and compared to how it used to be before. 
So that's why I encourage all of you guys, if you are interested into paleontology and ancient civilization, to come down to LA and visit the La Brea Tar Pits. Therefore, you could visit the heartbeat of Los Angeles, California yourself. So thank you for joining me.